If you have a shitty boss and you work at a shitty company and you have real skills, go somewhere not shitty. Come to Amazon, work on my team. Go to Twitch, work on the teams there. Go work for someone who's going to give you some real feedback. Interview, for that matter, when you interview at the next job, ask the damn boss, say, boss, I have one question for you. Explain to me how you grow the careers of people who work for you. Explain to me how you give feedback. Give me an example of the last time you gave an employee feedback they really needed to hear. And if the boss says, uh, let me think about that. Bad boss, keep looking. I know many of you work for shitty bosses. I have worked for shitty bosses. I have stayed with shitty bosses and I have left shitty bosses. And now I have to stop saying that because I'm sure my eight-year-old is within range of the stream somewhere. <sighs> but see, Matt Sick Man got me ranting. It's his fault. No, I own this. You have to get out of a bad situation, but don't run. First, do everything in the situation you're in because there's a lot of terrible situations. Bad bosses are as common as good bosses, unfortunately. And by the way, I use good and bad. Remember, that boss may be really good, just not for you. There are people who can't stand to work for me. There are people who love working for me. I try to be the best I can and be as broad as I can so that the number of people who can't stand working for me is smaller and the number of people who love working for me is bigger. But not everyone fits every other person. It's just like not everyone can be married to every other person. There are some fits and some people who don't fit you. But if you try everything you can and you have a bad boss, leave.